Hello and welcome to the Banker's Tech Talk video series, Diving into the World of Fintechs. I'm Joy McKnight, Deputy and Technology Editor at The Banker, and I'm joined by Sonal Ratan, Co-Founder and Chief Technology Officer at Exate Technology, which protects sensitive data and helps companies comply with the EU General Data Protection Regulation. It won Innovate Finance's Pitch 360 competition earlier this year. Sonal, thanks so much for joining us today. So can you tell me a little bit about Exact Technologies and what pain points it really addresses? There's a, always been this case where in banks or any, any environment, we've always relied on applications to look after our data, our security around data. The pain point that we're solving is, as we, the world is digitalizing, everything is becoming APIs, you've got many more breach points. So our technology allows you to separate application security from data security, and we now wrap the security around the data itself. So no matter where it travels, it's always in that secure state. And that's the main thing that we're solving. So you don't have to update hundreds of systems. You just need to look at the data itself. OK, so how exactly does it work? So what we do is we take an individual piece of data and we wrap metadata around it. So we assign who the owner of that data is, what nationality they are, what type of information is, is their passport number, is it their first name, is it their last name, and then we can apply rules against that data and apply consent as well. But what we do is any time an application needs to use it, we determine what type of data usage, is it for marketing, is it for general like business related activity, and then we log that in a forensic audit data database, which is done off our blockchain backend. Reg tech at the moment is like a really a buzzword, you know, among the banks. Why do you think it's so important for the banking industry? Uh, banks are have regulatory fatigue. They've had to deal with regulation after regulation, and they spend a massive portion of their their budgets for IT spent on complying with regulation. I think you know, it's, they're always forever playing catch up, and there's new regs coming in place all the time. Uh, by having solutions, there's no competitive advantage to solving for reg. So being able to work alongside banks and provide them with the solutions, everyone's got the same problem, everyone needs to do the same thing. Uh, reg techs are there to help, help banks progress and leapfrog, as opposed to having to play catch up continuously. One of the new regulations that are coming in is the EU's General Data Protection Regulation. Uh, do you think this is going to be a compliance nightmare for banks? It is. I, I don't think people quite understand uh, how, what's actually what it entails and how many systems it impacts. We spoke to one bank that stopped counting systems that held personally identifiable information at 4,500. So it's not a small amount of systems that you have to consider changing. But there's other things in the regulation that allows you to have, it's called derogations under the regulation, where each country can have their own set of rules, which can't be less than the rules that are in GDPR, but they can be more and more prescriptive. So every time that there is a new derogation, you'd have to go in all of those 4,500 systems to be able to like, make those changes into all of those systems, plus the APIs that sit behind it, which is hundreds and hundreds of systems that, like, on, additional on top. So we're, what we're looking at is how do we make that less of a pain point for companies? And the other thing that a lot of banks are looking at at the moment is cloud technology. Yeah. Um, what kind of security issues do you think that they need to consider? I have a slightly contrarian view around the cloud. Uh, so this is, but this is my own opinion. Um, with banks moving to the cloud, I actually feel that perhaps they should be actually creating the cloud, being a part of it. Banking is about trust and now data is also needs to have a lot of trust around it. So I kind of think that you know, they might actually want to almost move into that business, but you know, not trying to like annoy Amazon or anything at the moment, but that's just my view on it. But uh, with cloud, our technology, we, we appreciate that there, there's lots of cloud-based solutions and there's a lot of software as a service type mm -hmm. solutions as well. Um, we think your security should be in-house. The way that we built our technology, we are able to use, we allow firms to use the cloud safely. So all the information, you don't care about every piece of information. You care about bits of information that relate to individuals under GDPR. You care about maybe some additional things that can potentially identify them. As long as you can make sure that only that's available in your firewall, you can still continue to use cloud-based services. And it's, it will, again, help them leapfrog to be able to use services that are available to them and not have to build it in-house. Great. Thank you so much for your insights, Sonal.